It was new Himuka that turned Naomi into another. It was. Naomi's in Seiron, right? You'll help her, won't you? I will do all I can. All right. Then I'm going to Seiron too. See, right now, he's got Kasade wrapped around her finger. I think we should decide who and why we fight for ourselves, not because of someone else's feelings. <sighs> Maybe you let other people inform your opinions because you're emotionally immature. What? How can you say that? I've had enough. Going home. Hanabi? Kasane, I I'm not doing anything. Are you imagining it's Yuito? Why don't you go somewhere people can't see? It's hard to ignore what you're doing to that doll. <laughs> what? How long have you been watching? clip did not seriously end right here at this. We're still gonna put this in the video, but actually no, we're gonna put this in a different episode. Mm, yeah, we're gonna put this in a different episode, but the video clip really ended right there. Come on. Thank you for coming today. There's no need for pleasantries. What do you need from me? So, what things about Kara did you want to ask me? I wanted to ask you how you see my brother. Why me? There are a lot of other people who have met him. You might not like hearing this, but I think the two of you are a bit similar. Similar? You're not talking about our appearance. No, not that. So what do you think of my brother? Well, I'm not really that close to him, and it's not like we've talked a lot. I'd like to hear what you have to say about him first. I'm interested in learning what kind of person Karin is. All right. Well, he seems like a very straightforward person to me. Straightforward? I've never felt that way about him. I'm sure there would be a lot of people who would agree with you. Also, I don't necessarily mean it in a good way. He's overly candid, pushing forward without considering anybody else. That's the kind of person he is. I kind of understand what you're saying. Okay, let me share my impression of him. I recognize Karin's skills, but I think he's condescending, oppressive, and does whatever he wants. Personally, I'm fine that he acts that way, but I don't understand how someone like that can still be popular. <laughs> That's a harsh way to put it. I knew you were like him. How so? You're both candid, and you also don't compromise with the path you choose to take. I would never cause an uprising or incite others to get involved. Maybe not, but people come to you nonetheless. I think that those with a strong will naturally draw other people to them. That can make people like me, who tend to hide in the shadows, a little jealous. I'm not sure about that. I don't feel like I draw other people to me like Karin does. I think these straightforward people you talk about often create more discord than not. I'm constantly butting heads with people. I feel like it'd be easier if I were more well-mannered like you. It's not easier. We all have problems. That might be true, but you always seem so calm and collected. It's almost hard to believe you're his younger brother. You seem like someone who has everything figured out. Do I? Anyway, let's call it a day. I'm glad I could talk to you. Is that all you wanted to talk about? I don't feel like I said much. No. This has been a very worthwhile conversation for me. Thank you. Well, there's that done. Whee! Go get the toy, boy. Give me the beep. He doesn't want to give me his toy. I just want to read the message so I can stop and then... Wait out my pup, join back in a party with Zack and stuff, maybe do Grand Blue Fantasy, or, uh, something. 
but I want to read this message because it's kind of likely that I may forget about it. Oh yeah, I gotta go say Ron still. You are also from this two-child family, Kasane. It is only my brother and I, so that that's a small thing we have in common. Well, Naomi and my brother are certainly different types. She seemed to care for her sister very much. My brother does care about me in his own way. Does he? I thought I saw Karin attack you before like it was nothing. That's a pretty strange way to show affection. <laughs> well, I suppose there are many kinds of brothers and sisters. Okay, some other day. I remember I had like four minutes put into this already, so I'm going to continue off of that. And we're going to do Kagero's Bond episode here, and I don't think we have anything else to do after that. I believe I already gave everybody their gifts. I believe. So we're going to do this, and we're going to move on. I believe we already... Well, this will actually make sure. If he doesn't have... Okay, he has no gifts. That means I've already given gifts, so Bond episode. Let's talk about how Yo, you murdered Kasane. somebody. Coming all the way to see me? Do you have a crush on me or something? No, I just came to check on you. Looks like you're fine. Goodbye. Whoa, I see you still keep things cool. I mean, you're already here. Why don't we go on a date? Dude. No, thanks. Good. Wait, hold on. What else do you want? Sorry, sorry. I shouldn't have used the D word. How about we take this opportunity to deepen our friendship? I somehow doubt your motives. You've been on edge lately. After everything that happened with Naomi, I'm just concerned for you as the team's resident senior. Why don't we let off a little steam? A change of pace over some tea with your trusty mentor. He may have an ulterior motive. That being said, it might actually be good to talk with him. We're allies after all. So I think it's best that I should, at the very least, try to understand what kind of person he is. Okay, we can talk a little. Oh, so you're finally on board. Great, now let's go out on the town. Am I making a mistake? How can we go out for a night on the town when we haven't gotten to Ceyron and we're also kind of uh, not supposed to go back to... I completely forgot the town, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a week or two. So what do we need to talk about? Let's see. I guess uh, an update on how we've been, although we pretty much already know what we've both been up to. Today's goal is to get you to blow off a little steam, so let's just talk about whatever you want to talk about. But I don't feel like I need to blow off steam. Really? Then maybe I'll just ask some questions. Weren't you and Naomi really close? We're sisters. Of course we were. But you seem to be even closer than real sisters. Was there something that happened that helped you become so close? Well, Naomi was always there protecting me because I didn't really have a place in the Randall household. My parents didn't think very fondly of me, and she was the only one who actually treated me with kindness. Damn, off the beat they didn't care? So, you feel like you owe her for helping you through your childhood? Sounds like a great sister to me. Yes, I suppose you could say that I owe her my life. I wanted to ask him about himself. We've been talking about me the whole time. Yes, yes, indeed. Let me get them pictures for them thumbnails. You know how it goes. I might try and experiment with the thumbnails this time as well. Different really text or something to make them look bigger. What? Yes. She's the most important person in the world to me. So, let me ask you this. If you could turn back time to when Naomi was well, do you think you'd want to? Turn back time? Then you could go back to the way things were, like nothing even happened. Of course I want to be together with my sister again, but I can't. Why? Because taking away my sister's suffering like it never happened would be denying her entire life. I see. Why did you ask me that? It's just, I've lived a life full of regret, so I'm always thinking about how to face the past. Although, you do have a good point. I guess you just need to accept what's happened. That's enough about me. I'd like to hear about your past mistakes. 
Whoa, that's not really something I can just share with you or anyone so easily. Gotta maintain some air of mystery about me. Oh, really? Then I won't push you. I mean, we don't want to close the distance between us too quickly. Let's take this slow. Okay. We ended up barely even talking about him. I did notice he dropped that cheerful facade he always has on for a moment. I think he might be hiding something deeper behind that usual carefree attitude of his. Although I could be reading into it too much. Perhaps. Or perhaps not. I mean, I already know, but... What do I need an experience bonus for? I mean, I'm not going to get any experience that is useful until the DLC Bond episodes. There are a lot of things different about you, Kasane. I could say you're an unlikely woman. Naomi always said I was easily misunderstood. Yeah, I get that. You just say whatever is on your mind. I generally find staying quiet makes more friends, though. Oh well, that lack of control is one of your good features. Okay. Got that. Team Mon level 2. Mission break photo. This is, of course, different, hey, so we see should how great check I am now. I don't know about great, but I do think I've come to understand you a little better. Must be over here. Or is it in here? Why is it in here? Is Kasane eating something? I can't tell. Either eating or drinking or... No, they, yeah, they got something. What is that? They look like drinks of some sort. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I don't think... We can't do any side quests because we can't really go anywhere. Wait, we can go to Seiron right now. Oh. I swear, if I go through the Seiron City rounds and they are actually somehow the same as they're supposed to be in Suo, man, would I just be irritated. Because there's no reason to do them again. But I, I'm sure the ones in Seiron have to be different. There is no way they're the same. At least up until the point where they were the... Yeah. Okay. Uh, where to start, though? I read about your family, Kasane. You lost your parents to others. Then the Randalls adopted you. It must have been hard for you. It's all right if you want to call me mom. Go ahead. Huh? Thank you, Kyoka. But I'm okay. The <laughs> It's, just like, it's like just the want that she was, uh, the way she said it, what the hell? She like really wanted that. Uh, anyway, was I going to, I was going to say something, but at this point, I'm already here for the round, so, whatever. <laughs> Some of my colleagues who went to patrol the open area are late in, in returning. It turns out they just made a stop in the city. They got me all worried for nothing. GPS is a device that operates on abilities and tracks positions, apparently. It's named after something that used to exist with a similar function. <laughs> hey, aren't you the new, new cadet that was in Suo? Actually, aren't you Kasane Randall? The one who assassinated Joe Sumeragi? I was getting tired of the annoying government, so I joined this side. You're really impressive. Jeez. Hmm, are you the hero, Kasane Randall? The one who took down Joe Sumeragi? <laughs> welcome to this welcome to Seiron. 
Rest assured, all your future special mission bonuses for your suppressions will be paid by the Sayron OSF. What? Imagine just coming in here and people praising you for for a murder you didn't commit. We got the hero Yuito, the hero Kasane. <laughs> Also, was that dialogue that Kyoka said, was that like very random chance or was that supposed to happen? Yeah. Like I have no idea. Even if you don't need it, being invisible is fun. Okay, Kagero. <clears throat> hmm, have I seen you before in Suo? Oh, I was over there until the recent Suo incident. Actually, I had my life saved by Major General Karn once. I don't know all the details, but I'm prepared to fight through this together. I always did prefer Sayron though. Looked a lot nicer. It seems like there are some others that will carry objects from somewhere and rearrange them. Hmm? It's very creepy when you notice changes like that outside the city in places where there aren't any people. The others act in mysterious ways. Hey, if you have some, uh, could you, uh, give me some recovery jelly? My friend is in the OSF, but uh, he was wounded badly fighting this so incident. He's in the hospital now. I want you to br I want to bring something, something useful, you know, something helpful when I go visit him. So please. Really? Thanks. Just need to open up the the thing and turn that in. Because I'm full on recovery jellies and all that. Oh, a message. I wanted to really thank you, Kasane. Your weapon is basically a knife, right? That's something we have in common. It is a knife, but it's nothing like yours. Our fighting styles are totally different anyways. <laughs> You're cold. <laughs> Even over text. I suppose I do use my knife while I'm invisible. I dance like a butterfly and sting like a bee. Though you can't see me. I think there's something two knife users can learn from each other, though. Let's talk about it. And then there's just this. Well, I should maybe read this. Communication is prohibited, but this message is necessary. I know this is sudden, but I've quit the OSF. It was the Sewer Winston. It changed my life, my fate. I hurt my back in all the commotion. I can stand just fine, so you don't have to worry. Now, I'm nothing more than an average citizen with no relation to the OSF. But the archivist in me asks, Should I start, stop archiving now? Leaving the job unfinished is not something our archivists do. Or archivists, I don't know. So I made decision. As a mere civ civilian archivist, I will continue to follow you and watch the archives, meaning I will keep archiving. End of message. I'll say this. I'm not doing this as a hobby. Definitely not a hobby. Anyway. Uh, no, it isn't story for quests. Report. Thanks for the jelly. I'll go visit him right away. We look a lot different. We look a. Yeah, we do. That, that was correct. We look a lot different in age now. We're even friends since we were little. This used to be a branch of the Ceyron OSF, but now it's been promoted to the headquarters of the Uprising. Really gets you motivated. You're just motivated for war? You know what? I just realized something. I never actually looked down here. <laughs> or I never tried that well. What do we got? Like, what do we have at the bottom layers of... of, uh, Ceyron? How far down can I go with the camera? I wasn't even expecting to be able to go down this far, to be honest. You know, the funny thing is... Is video games that give you photo modes, I love having photo modes because, you know, you get to take some cool pictures. But other reasons I like photo modes 
is it's because of a photo mode that you can go and just find some fucking weird shit that shouldn't even exist or they probably left behind but I'm really not seeing anything I think the only thing I'm seeing now is a new Arashi poster I have not seen that before okay so change when you're on the battlefield, Major. That's what I hear, but I don't realize it. You have a strange dignity about you sometimes, too. <laughs> I can't hide my greatness. You feel it, too? <laughs> you like to hide behind your jokes. Okay. There's a quest right here, huh? I've been fighting others for almost 50 years, but lately I've been starting to feel my strength decline. The other day, some fast others outpaced me and I couldn't beat them. Ten years ago, it would have been a breeze. This is embarrassing, but could you get them for me? I think you can win if you, if you can handle their speed. Whoa, just responding to a text right quick. Sorry, my lack of strength led to this. Okay, so. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter, really. Could I get on that? Okay, what is the point of this? So, this thing here is just, it's a little rest area. I never even pay attention to this before, but we just have a little, I would assume this is like supposed to be a koi pond. You know, the Japanese, they like to have uh, that stuff. I swear for a second there, I thought I was looking at something out of God Eater. Okay, I don't, these Arashi posters here, there's, they were not here before, were they? I'd have to look back on the Yuito videos and see if they were. There's resource reading near here. You should check it out. Yeah, you should just be quiet, she nobody asked you, buddy. You know the most major companies are headquartered in Suo? That's because they have so many privileges. Suo was getting too much uh, preferential treatment. I hope that disparity will be improved after this uprising. Are you with the OSF? My sister was scouted by the OSF when she was a kid too. That's why she still looks like a child. At first she was really happy with being scouted and laughed when I grew taller than her. But with each passing year has left us with more mixed emotions. My own children are about to outgrow her. Yeah, imagine that. But that's anime for you. You can literally be, uh... Somehow your mother can look like a child and your own children will somehow be taller than her. That's weird. I specifically remember a certain anime with a anime mother who is literally just pr uh, practically a lolly. Uh, the specific clip has like the little sister being like, oh mom, the br brother's uh, sick, and the mom just comes out like, what? And then she just wraps her son in a blanket and saying, don't die, or something. Something about sickness means the main character is about to go away. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> There's a rumor that the hero who assassinated Joe Sumeragi in the Sewer incident eventually joined the Seiron government. Uh, if that's true, it will greatly raise morale. One of these soldiers just needs to have a really high-pitched voice and not sound like a soldier. A good friend I made through Sinet is in Sudo. He was a really good guy, but was a bit lazy. Anyway, he complained to me about what the government was doing about that not that long ago. And now he's saying stuff like, Long live new Himuka. It's like a different person. I think I've ex I, I know I've explained before the reason I do that same really 
as deep as I possibly can go voice for the soldiers is because of how they sound in Trails of Cold Steel. It's kind of just the staple voice for soldiers in uh, anime stuff. If others fall from the sky, wouldn't it be safe if we built underground cities? <laughs> Am I a genius or what? I heard a rumor about an experimental city like that existing before, but the people all disappeared the day the extinction belt dropped to low altitudes. What? That's so scary. Did they kill each other or something? No, they all became others. I mean, that's pretty easy to think. Isn't that stuff... No, that's real in there. Have you chosen a weapon that suits your ability? The OSF puts a lot of important importance on powers, but your partner is important when fighting others too. Some people say that there isn't much difference in weapons if you have the ability, but the stronger fighters should use sh stronger weapons. The psy- uh... Oh, come on. The psionic, or whatever, the- Whatever, just the power and the weapon all complement each other. Amazing, don't you think? Get your brain working. I've said it in the Yuito playthrough, why does Seiron want to have just fish everywhere? Is this just so some asshole can randomly put a shark on the streets and make me have a panic attack? I know there... You know, a long time ago, I don't know if it was something on Adult Swim... God, there's no way my own brain made this up. This has to be real. It, it, it's this thing. There was this, um... There was this robber. It had to be on Adult Swim. There's no way I made this up like multiple times in dreams. There's a guy he's robbing a house. The dude is asleep in his bed. He's mostly always either asleep or I think he's in the bathroom once. He's always asleep. And every time the robber tries to, you know, get in the house and do something in the bedroom, he gets like, just something happens to the robber. He just f hits a trap or some weird thing happens. But once, there's like a fucking just shark just floating in the room, and it's, it's weird. If my own brain made this up, then I don't know what the hell was wrong with me. Because <laughs> it happened like... I remember seeing like seven to six different versions of it. It's so hard to explain it. I want to look it up, but it's like, I would. there's no way I would ever find it. Unless I just woke up, robber goes in the bedroom, there's a shark in there. <laughs> That would sound like the craziest idea ever, and there's no way I would ever find it. I mean, to this day, I do believe I must have made it up. Anyway. <clears throat> the hard shells of rut types are so hard to break. I'm confident in my power, but... Brute forces things simply wears you down. You got any ideas? If one person isn't strong enough, it might be a good idea to try borrowing someone else's. Oh, did you think of something? And try it out for me. They call the haze in the sky. Wait. We already know. We definitely. I definitely remember that kid's dialogue. Did you know that of the Togetsu's faith? It's a religion that worships the moon. I believe we've also talked before, haven't we? All right, look. Well, we did the. We did the. Uh, oh, how did I do the picture here before? Oh, I took a picture here for Yuito. I I actually don't remember the place. So I'm not gonna try retaking it for a Kasane version, because I try to kind of make them the same just for a screw around thing. But gosh, I, I don't remember where I took that picture here. It may have been on the stairs up here. <clears throat> Transports are all conducted by drones because others only attack things with brains. But there are some guys out there operating smuggling rings with manned transports without guards who escort them. Completely suicide. <coughs> Even I'm getting so tired of that voice. 
But that's the voice for the for soldiers and anime stuff, so what other voice to put on, I guess. Oh come on. Things around here haven't really changed yet, but we won't be receiving the supplies from Suo or other places from now on. I mean, it doesn't matter that the actual deliveries are done with drones. They wouldn't keep sending in supplies to the people that they're at war with. They're going to be really inconvenient. That's going to be really inconvenient. Man, only in Trails of Cold Steel did I, like, do the thing of I tried as many different voices as I could because all the, all the characters in Trails of Cold Steel don't exactly talk most of the time, but at least I was able to try and some way replicate the voice if possible, but with NPCs it's like, just use set voices. Sue is more garrison OSF and National Defense Force members than any other city, right? When I heard about the uprising, I didn't think the rebels could win, but they just might they have car in the Septentrion. I was about to just call him a Septarian. Alright, last thing. I came here to scout rookies, and uh, I got caught up in this uprising. Now I'm stuck here. You can't actually refuse a scout. And uh, I wonder if people were really dissatisfied about stuff like that. Alright, well that's the end of that. It's time to get back to the main story.